What's up guys, welcome back to the channel and today I'm going to be going over the best classes for going for nuclears in Call of Duty Black Ops 3. There's 5 classes that I really think are really good for going for nuclears, so before we get into the video, leave a like down below and subscribe to their channel if you guys are new and also turn on post notifications so you know exactly when I'm uploading and you could become one of the first people to watch my videos and be a part of the notification squad. So yeah, let's jump right into the video. Before we get into the classes, I just want to go over the specialist that I would use for going for a nuclear or nuked out. The first one would be um, Scythe is really good. I would recommend Scythe. Scythe is like, I don't know, I feel so like I could challenge any gunfight I feel like when I have Scythe out. I just like it so much. Scythe is definitely one of them. Next one would be Combat Focus. Combat Focus is also another really good specialist in this game. I really like it too. It helps you get your streaks faster and then you could get like like getting the hater has a little bit more score to it and if you are like 400 score off you pop it get two kills you already have it so that's why i like it next one is kinetic armor is also really good so if you see three people in front of you just pop it and challenge them you'll probably kill all three of them and only take a little bit of damage and um tempest is really good if you have a if you're good at if you have good accuracy i'd recommend tempest if not then i would not recommend using it yeah vision pulse is okay too if you want to use it you could but i don't really not many people use it but um yeah let's get right into the class setups okay the first class setup of course is the vmp one of the best guns in the game here's the class setup quick draw grip and fast max this gun is just an absolute machine it's so dominant at close range and i got ghost because you want to be off the mini map when you're trying to go for a nuclear or nuked out especially a nuked out you do not like ffa you do not want to be seen at all um perk 2 scavenger fast and scavenger of course if you're trying to get a nuclear you have to have a lot of ammo and scavenger is the way to go fast hands because if you if there's nothing up like no uav up in your sprinting and a guy comes right around the corner you can pull up your gun really really fast with fast hands and blast suppressor is when you're boosting in this game it is so loud like you could hear a mile away and i recommend blast suppressor blast suppressor so much and the next last setup is the man of war one of the best assault rifles in the game. It's really strong too at ELO, rapid fire, fast mags, and grip. Fast mags, I mean not fast mags, ELO because like, I don't know, iron sights are really the best. You can go with ELO or reflux, whatever you're, mo mo whatever you're most comfortable with. And rapid fire because it shoots really, really slow. So I like putting on rapid fire just to make it up, just make it a little bit faster and a little bit more stronger. Next attachment is fast mag, just to reload faster. Like, I don't know, I just like it because to reload faster. Like, if you rush a little bit, like I do, if you rush in, like, say, their spawn, and you get, like, three kills, you have to, re you gotta reload quick and then kill the rest. Next attachment, grip, because with rapid fire on it, it has a little bit of recoil, so I like to reduce that with the grip. And now, I only have two perks on this class setup, just because, like, the attachments are really important for this class setup. I don't, I don't have ghost on this class, but, like, if you wanna swap out something else like you could take off rapid fire if you feel like or fast mag if you feel like that you don't need it and put on ghost but i like fast and scavenger and the c4 c4 dude in this game it is so good because like if you throw it somewhere say you you're like by yourself you're like stuck and you have a c4 you could throw it behind you and then if it like a thing comes up on your screen like c4 armed or something and then you could um yeah it says around the c4 it says armed on it if you could see that and yeah if someone's like coming around the corner and it says c4 armed use double tap square and it'll like just kill them it's pretty good and it's really strong in the game fast hands just what i said earlier scavengers just like what i said earlier next class is the weevil this gun is not a lot of people use this gun is really underrated and i got rapid fire and grip on it just only two attachments because this thing has a lot of ammo and it doesn't reload the slowest Rapid fire because just to increase that, not accuracy, <laughs> just to increase the fire rate on the gun. It's not like it's slow or anything. It's, I just feel like rapid fire in this game makes every single gun better. And I got grip just to bring down the recoil since I have rapid fire on the Weevil too. And now I have a lot of perks on, not a lot of perks, but I have a few perks on here. I got Ghost, Scavenger, Fast Hands, and Blast Suppressor. Just like what I said earlier with Ghost, you, you want to be off the mini map when you're trying to get a nuclear because if they... If they know where you are, you have a more chance of dying, so that's why I use that, of course. And I got a concussion and a C4, whatever you want to put on these, but I definitely recommend the C4. For tactical, you can put whatever you want. 
Shock Charge isn't bad either. Okay, next class is the Kuda. Now, this class setup to me is one of the best class setups in the game because, I don't know, Quick Draw, Fast Max, Long Barrel. I just feel like Long Barrel on this gun just makes such a difference. And I got Quick Draw on it with Fast Mags. I don't know, I don't use Grip on this just because I don't feel like I need it. It doesn't have much recoil. And this gun is actually good at range. Like, not at most, most SMGs are good at close range, but this SMG is good at close and longer ranges. That's why I really like this class and the gun. And now this time, I don't have Ghost on this class, but you could put Ghost on if you want. If you don't rush a lot, I would recommend putting Ghost on, but I love rushing and using my, uh, uh, what, thruster, I guess you could say, or booster, whatever you want to call it, because it'll help it recharge fast. If you rush, I definitely recommend Afterburner. It's such a good perk in the game. I got Fast End Scavenger and Tactical Mask. You could swap out Tac for Blast Suppressor. Yeah, Blast Suppressor or Tactical Mask is really good on any class setup. And the last class is the M87. These are not in any specific order. These are just five classes to help you get a nuclear and one of the best classes to get nuclear. So I got Elo, Rapid Fire, and Long Barrel. Now on the M8, this gun is so strong. If you put on long barrel, it'll help so much at range and rapid fire just to speed up the bursts. And I got C4 Ghost Scavenger, Fast Hands, and Blast Suppressor. This is one of the better classes too. Let me just throw on. So just make the gun 10 times better. Whoops. <laughs> that ugly paint job though. <laughs> okay, yeah. There we go. We got that nice camo on there. It, that camo is just so nice. Like, i never seen a camo better than it. I don't know. Dark Matter is close. I, I don't know. I don't know which one's better, but we're getting off topic. So, yeah, that's been the video. These are the five classes that I love using to go for nuclears. And if you guys enjoyed the video, leave a like down below and subscribe to the channel if you guys are new. And also turn on post notifications so you know exactly when I upload. And you can also become part of the notification squad. If you're early on, early on my video, just comment in the comment section, hashtag notification squad. And I'll know that you are, that you have my notifications turned on. So, yeah, I'll see you guys next video. Peace.